On this machine, there are a variety of blanket stitch looking stitches. So take the time to stitch them out, find out which one you like the best. Some will point to the right, some will point to the left, and some will have stitches in between, some have a heavier look. So you just pick which one that you like. Right now, I'm gonna show you stitch number 11. And I've also made the stitches a little bit more spread apart by lengthening the stitch length to the same length that it is wide. I tend to like my blanket stitches to be more of a square or a box than so switched together. So you can adjust these. If it's going to be two and a half millimeters wide, make the length two and a half millimeters long. And then you can go ahead and start there. Um, I have also put on, taken off the J foot and put on the larger, I think this is the N foot, yes, and it has a little bit wider base to it. It also allows me to see in a little bit further. So of all the feet that come with this machine, that one has a little bit more viewing area. So first thing I wanna do is just start by seeing where that needle's gonna sink down. That's gonna be on the outside edge of the blanket stitch. So I just want to see that that's starting there and keeping in mind that this also will stitch forward and back along that um, right side. So I need to kind of plan for that as I go around curves. I'm keeping the stitching that's going up and back right next to the raw edge of the applique piece that I put on. Go ahead and fuse that on or spray base that on. That will hold it in place. With the needle stopping down, that will help you just pivot a little bit. We want to keep the, the bite that's jumping into your applique area to stay nice and perpendicular. You might have to play around with this a little bit, get used to the way the order of the stitch is made, and then that way you can really control when to do your turning by giving it a little extra stitch at the right point. I'm gonna do a little turning there. And uh, the, the key is not to try to just twist the fabric, but to actually pivot it at the right point. A little at a time is better than one big turn. And that will help make for a nice smooth edge. So I'm gonna just do just a little bit more and then I'll take this out and show you how it looks here. And how about one more, perfect, and then we'll see. So this is what it's looking like as we go around the heart here. All right, so this is what you want. You want those stitches to be nice and hugged close to the raw edge. And see, every time I took a little tiny pivot, I ended up with a smoother stitch around the curve.